Hi, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. So today's video is another book recommendations video because you guys loved the first one. And also I'm constantly getting questions and DMs about what books do you recommend? So more book recs. Also, I'm pre-filming this video too. So when this is up, it'll be like September, but I'm filming this the day before I leave to college. Anyway, let's get started with these recs. Which genre should I start with? Let's start with rom-com. So these are all adult rom-coms and always make sure to look at the trigger warnings and the age ratings before you read any of these books. The first book is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I read this in one day while I was getting my hair done and it was so good. So it takes place at this wedding and everybody gets food poisoning in the wedding party except for the maid of honor and the best man and the maid of honor and the best man do not like each other but then since everybody has food poisoning they have to take the honeymoon in place of the bride and the groom and it's just a fun enemies to friends to lovers story. Would totally recommend this. And also the author reposted me on her story, so I freaked out. <laughs> The next book is The Hating Game. This I read on the airplane and I love this. It's another like enemies to lovers rom-com. These are just so fun. But in this book, two people have essentially the same position in the workplace and they're bitter rivals and they're always like trying to get under each other's skin and stuff and then they become up for the same promotion and then it just escalates and there's conflict and drama. It's just really well written. It's actually becoming a movie that should be out sometime. And then you've probably seen this book all over social media, but it is People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. Another fun beach read. It flashes forward between the past and the present. So in this book, Poppy and Alex, they became friends in college, and then every summer they've taken a trip together, and then they had a huge falling out, and then they decide to go on one last trip together to try to patch things up. It's, so it's just a very fun read. It's very visual because it flashes back from the current trip that they're on right now to like the trips that they've been on previously. Now let's do adult fiction, thriller, and fantasy. So the first book, this might actually be one of my favorite books of all time. It's The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This, just everything about this is perfection. This made me cry multiple times and I don't normally cry during books, so. That's rare. But this, let me tell you, if you've heard the song The Lucky One by Taylor Swift, it's basically this book. So this fictional Hollywood icon, Evelyn Hugo, in her old age, she decides to reach out to this magazine journalist and tell her story about her scandalous life in Hollywood from the 50s up until the 80s, and it covers feminism, LGBTQ+, and a bunch of other social justice issues during that time. It also gives a really good look into old Hollywood. It's just super interesting. While Evelyn Hugo is a fictional character, you can totally tell that the author, Taylor Jenkins Reid, who is one of my favorite authors, did her research, and Evelyn Hugo is kind of based off of like Marilyn Monroe and Elizabeth Taylor. You have to read this. I love this. And also you have to read her other books because her other books are great. And then Layla by Colleen Hoover. I love Colleen Hoover. I also read this in one sitting because I am have no self-control when it comes to reading. But this book is a paranormal thriller is how I would categorize it. It's definitely a little bit creepy but not too creepy. So if you kind of want to dip your toes into paranormal stuff, this is perfect. But basically this couple gets together and what happens is the woman Layla is attacked and then left in the hospital and then after she recovers they decide to go on a getaway but then Layla starts acting really 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 weird and then the guy leads is trying to figure out why she's acting so weird and then he meets somebody else it's great. I loved this. It's also on Kindle Unlimited as well. Another Colleen Hoover book is Verity, and this is another thriller. Let me tell you, first of all, you absolutely have to look up the trigger warnings for this book if you're going to read it. It's not really scary. It's just creepy and disturbing, and I, like, think about this constantly just because it's so... If you've read this, you know exactly how it is. This is also on Kindle Unlimited as well. But what happens in this is this character, Loan Ashley, is a writer, and then she gets a job offer from the husband of another really famous author because his wife is injured. And then once the writer goes to their house, she finds a really disturbing autobiography of the wife. There's also some romance on this too, which is really fun, and it just 
it's really creepy. So if you're into that, definitely check this out. Then an adult fantasy recommendation. We have The Bridge Kingdom and The Traitor Queen. This is a duology by Daniel L. Jensen. These are a really quick read. They're fast paced. The plot is great. So what happens is Lara, Lara, I say Lara in my head. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. But she has been trained since her childhood to bring down and take down this kingdom that has been oppressing all of the other kingdoms in this universe and she infiltrates the kingdom as the bride of the king and she basically has to navigate this world and see that everything is not actually how it seems. There's romance, enemies to lovers, and there's two of them and I think the author is writing more of them in this world but with different characters. And now young adult. The first book I'm going to talk about is called The Gracier by Kim Liggett. I read this in one night and let me tell you if I were teaching a women in literature class I would teach this book. One of the reasons why The Hunger Games was so successful is because it had a really deep commentary on society and a lot of other dystopians that came after that didn't really have any comments on society. But this has great commentary on coming of age women. And the plot of this is in a dystopian world, girls are banished for their 16th year to release magic into the world so they can be purified and ready for a marriage. Quickly, not everything is as it seems, so there's a lot of commentary on feminism and misogyny and a lot of relevant societal things, but it's like not shoved down your throat. And then there's like a plot twist in this that just I was shocked. I would totally recommend this if you're looking for something that has a really good plot and characters but is also thought provoking at the same time. And then The Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. There are three other books in this series, Hunting Prince Dracula, Escaping from Houdini, and Capturing the Devil. And these take place in Victorian England during the Jack the Ripper murders. So these are all fun kind of murder mysteries and also I really love the main character. She's a forensic student which was not a a common job for women back in the time and then there's a romance and there's a lot of really fun stuff in here and these keep you on your feet and also they're just like very aesthetically pleasing and then this is another YA fantasy this is an ember in the ashes by Saba Tahir there's four of them in this series an ember in the ashes a torch against the night a reaper at the gates and a sky beyond the storm I actually just finished this series these are really addicting there's a cool map at the beginning and there's really good representation but what happens in this is the main character Leia is oppressed under this empire and she, her brother is arrested for treason and to save her brother she has to enter the academy where the soldiers for the empire train and she has to spy for the rebels in order to save her brother and then she meets a soldier at the academy named Elias and he does not like the academy. So that's the gist of the plot. It's really fast paced and I would definitely recommend this series if you like high fantasy. Then another YI fantasy and that is the Dark Elements series by JLA aka Jennifer L. Armentrout. This, the first one's White Hot Kiss then Stone Cold Touch and then Every Last Breath and honestly I flew through these. These aren't necessarily like The Handmaid's Tale or Catcher in the Rye or The Great Gatsby, you know. These are just purely for entertainment and I loved every minute of these. So the main character, Layla, is half demon and half gargoyle and anyone she kisses will kill anyone with a soul, so like humans and stuff, but she's trying to live like a normal life by going to school. But then she meets this demon, Roth. Whew. And then Layla and Roth have to work together to basically stop the end of humanity. And there's lots of fun romance in it. The plot is good too and there's a lot of plot twists so I would totally recommend these if you're looking for something fast paced, romantic and also just like something to lose yourself in you know. This series is perfect and there's also a sequel series called the Harbinger series I think so that's on my TBR. So yeah that's the end of the video. I really hope you liked it. I always have new book recommendations so if you want to see another one of these videos comment down below. And yeah thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want to. Subscribe to my channel. Turn the notification bell on. Follow me on Instagram for fashion and daily updates and also follow me on TikTok and I'll see you next time. Bye!